Hello and welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Matz. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah today, chapter 8. When I look at this verse 13 again, which says, The Lord of hosts, him you shall hallow. Let him be your fear and let him be your dread. That's Isaiah 8, 13. I want to talk a bit about the Lord of hosts. What does that mean? We read that all the time, but we don't really necessarily stop and pay attention to it. The Lord of hosts. Well, it means the Lord of heavenly armies, the unseen angels that God uses for his purposes. Let God, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of heavenly armies, be your fear. And you want to know what a heavenly army looks like? That's a good question, okay? We get a glimpse of it in 2 Kings 6, beginning at verse 15. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, to Elisha, Alas, my master, what shall we do? I mean, you can't help but pick up on the fear exhibited by Elisha's servant. His mourning was greeted by this huge military army surrounding the city. Horses and chariots and all the weapons needed for conquering. Alas, what shall we do? It didn't look good. Well, my friend, what are you up against today? A health crisis? Financial? Relationship? Work-related? Are you throwing up your hands this morning and echoing the, the servant's fearful cry, Alas, what shall I do? Well, listen to Elisha's answer in the next verse. So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us, the armies of the Lord of hosts, are more than those who are with them. And you want to say, really, Elisha? I mean, that's easy for you to say, but all I see is impending disaster. Well, look what Elisha does next. He prayed, and God answered his prayer big time. And the servant's eyes were open, and he saw the Lord of hosts' army, and it far surpassed the army that the city was facing. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha, the Lord, the army, the Lord of hosts and his army. Well, that's my prayer for you today. Maybe you're faced with a seemingly impossible situation. I pray that God would open your eyes to the truth that God, the Lord of hosts, is able to trump anything the devil throws at you today. Therefore, fear him, hallow him. And maybe you could pray that prayer for someone you know today who needs that reassurance. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.